Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. for the home side well the wingers will be key here they have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward if they can do that they're a potent front three no doubt about that well real difficulty keeping the ball Might be a chance here. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? It has to be. There it is. And just the ideal start. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So underway again here, one nil to score. Hagen. Now the pass not finding its target. Taking care of business defensively here. Ivan Uschets. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. He didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal. Mishic. Oh, lovely, incisive pass. The end product just wasn't there. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. This is looking threatening. And beating the defender. Oh, good work by the keeper.
Trying to pick out a teammate. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Mišić. Pretty good reading of the game to win possession back. Pellegrino. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Ran it superbly to take back possession. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. Luka Ivanushet. Not a particular... Well, it was so easy on the eye, that counter-attack, but no reward for them. Yeah, it was all good until the final effort. It just shows how devastating they can be on the break, though. Well, great read there to intercept. He'll try his luck here. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And now the delivery. Oh, real chance for him. Well, he attacked it so well and made good contact, but he just couldn't keep it down, could he? Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent, but any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Hagen. Pellegrino. Ooh, they just let his opponent glide by. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And it's a quality pass. And an effective clearance. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Well, that piece of play very easy on the eye. And thwarted there following the cross. Ivanushet. And Orsic with it. And that always looked likely to run through to the keeper. on the scent of something positive and space for the cross and it still could be dangerous danger averted for now well at first glance you would think a strong possibility of a red card let's see and who knows that might be the end of the story for them in this one well I'm sure you're right he's just lost his discipline there it's an uphill battle now Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. In position. And foiled only by the crossbar. So now a corner.
Can someone get on the end of this? Well, not cleared away completely. Showing considerable guile. Superb block. Did well to win the ball back. Hagen. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Well, it's gone out of play under real duress. Mishic. And that was a very fine read. Good movement. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Bruno Petkovic. Can he do it? And a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So, 2-0 now. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Pellegrino. It's there for him. Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Bruno Petkovic. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can he put it away? Magnificent defending. Now putting it wide from there, disappointing. And time for the change now. We've entered the final five minutes. Anders Konradsen. Amal Pellegrino. And a significant block following that cross. Luka Ivanushets. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Konradsen. A tremendous vision. And played to the front post. So full time it is. And a morale boosting. Three points on the board to begin their European.